New developments in the tragic death of a man swept away in a flash flood last June. Factfinders gave us an exclusive view of the events that night from the camera of a first responder. And now we've learned that legal action is underway. Mike McKnight has tonight's Fact Finders follow up. I don't know where he's at. Hidden beneath the dark flood water is a culvert that sucked in a car before driver Michael Farr could be rescued. Give me something to break the window out. I think I just seen this man lose his life. Witness Dusty Riggleman says a tall fence should line the ditch and drain, but 10 months later, it remains unguarded. A tort claim has been filed with the city of Bellevue. However, allegations of the city's responsibility in the tragedy that occurred here are sealed. An assistant city attorney tells fact finder state law allows a tort claim not to become public if there's an investigation ongoing. In this case, likely an investigation into the city's liability. Management for the apartment on one side of the ditch is unavailable for comment. On the other side, the parking lot manager says a property survey is completed, but building a barrier next to a waterway needs more legal clearance. She says they've not been sued, but a claim of negligence in the tragic death appears to be flowing toward the city of Bellevue. Mike McKnight, WWT6 News. An assistant Bellevue City Attorney tells us the claim against the city could be withheld from public view for up to six months. That's how long city officials have to decide if the claim is valid. If it's denied, then the family can file suit in open court.